Where about the factory? Oh yeah, that's okay. This is a interesting thing to take note of. Noticing like the um, like the robos over there. What, I don't. What are they called in this game? Like egg breakers or something like that? I I don't even know. <laughs> but whatever the actual whatever the name is. Um, one thing that that's uh, kind of interesting is that in this version, they are never seen in like a night stage in the whole game, unless I'm misremembering misrem something. I'm pretty sure they aren't, um, as opposed to the HD version where you see them, not constantly but fairly frequently, I'd say. And uh, uh, I just find that just find that fascinating. It, like, it's pretty much just all Dark Eyes minions, which makes sense. Um, it's just it's just one of those like weird differences between the versions that you start noticing. Oh, dude, just die. And Fire Wizards, of course. I keep thinking this A. Damn it. Damn it, Classic Controller. You're confusing me with your buns. How could you? Ah. Just grab the bolts. Dude. <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay, that worked out. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to look out for any secrets as well, because again, they can be pretty, pretty devious with those in in the stage. Okay. I like how much like those are uh, spinny. Spinny f things are like way more like fancy in this version, whereas in 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 like the HD version, it's just a like the Werehog just uses it as a uh, a platform or what what have you. Like he just hangs onto it and then jumps off normally, whereas in this version, he just swing like <laughs> flips around like mad. It's great. Yeah, I think I mentioned this. A while back, I don't remember when, but I mentioned how, like, I, f I feel like this honestly might be one of, if not the best 3D Sonic game to start with, the Wii version specifically, uh, because I, I feel like, I feel like it doesn't really leave you with too many crazy, uh, like, I, I don't think it's, like, crazy difficult or expects too much from the player. Especially if you're just going for the main story stuff, um, and I feel like it's I feel like the game is long enough to satisfy a player without without feeling too long. Um, with at the same time not at, yeah I I feel I'm stumbling on my words, but. Yeah, I feel like it's not too long, but not too short. Um, and again, if you do want to go out for like side content, then you do have um, all the side missions. You have like so many collectibles to find, and eight like the S ranks if you missed any. All the guy gate doors to open. Um, like, there's a lot of content in this game if you are willing to do that. But if you do just want to get to Dark Guy and finish, like get to the credits, I feel like you still have. A good amount of a uh, game there that can satisfy you, um, and I, since and I also feel like since the Werehog is such a difference in gameplay style compared to the day stages, I feel like that's definitely something up there. Um, compared to the day stages, I feel like that will give you. I I feel like that that will um. Get you prepared for how different gameplay styles can be in this series. Like, hold, hold on a second. I, how do I? 
Okay, here we go, here we go. I had a feeling there was something here. Okay. And then what's down here? What's the point of this? Okay. <laughs> hold, hold that for a minute. I I gotta check these out. I don't I don't know what's going on over here. Is it really just okay fine. Oh okay. Okay, just get to the gold ring. I don't know if we I don't know if we're gonna get the S rank. It might be might be too late. Oh cool, okay. Oh we we destroyed that, okay. Cool. But yeah, since again, since you um since the warehog is such a difference in gameplay, I feel like that uh will get you prepared for like say the adventure games or God forbid, 06 <laughs> for be like having so many different uh, different gameplay styles. Um, and since since there's only two in this game, I feel like it's not so crazy. I guess like again, that they're both like these two gameplay styles are really different. But since there's only two of them, I feel like they'll. It, I feel like it wouldn't be as crazy to uh, get used to that as opposed to like SA1 where you have to get used to not only the six main play gameplay styles but also there's kart racing, there's um, well the, the chariot stuff is optional but I guess that is also a factor. Um, there's a bunch of different mechanics within stages themselves. Um, I, I haven't played SA1 in a, a hot minute, so a lot of it is, a lot of the um, like specific mechanics are I'm kind of blanking on right now. Um, but you have like snowboarding. There's like a few sequences with that. There's the sky chase levels. There's a lot to keep in mind with uh, SA1. Um, so I can imagine that being, and also because it's like the first 3D Sonic game, and because it's like not aged the best. In terms of like glitches and whatnot, um, I feel like that might be a bit overwhelming to get used to for a first timer. And um, I feel, I feel like again, I feel like this would be a better introduction in the sense of like, it, again, it's only two playstyles, and if you can get used to that, then I feel, I, I feel like that that will give you a head start for getting used to other Sonic games. Maybe, maybe not. I, I can't say this for certain. Like, I, this is not how I, like, grew up playing these games. Like, I, I started the, the first 3D Sonic game I played was Heroes, and then SA1 to Shadow, I think, etc., etc. So I can't really say how good or how bad that idea is of Unleashed We being your first. But it, it is something I thought about because. I, f I feel like it's um, not really easy to pick a introduction Sonic game for most for most people. Like, especially nowadays, I feel like the Sonic series is kind of a acquired taste, if you will, <laughs> um, in the sense that like not everyone's gonna gel with this stuff. Um, and yes, they are. Three D Sonic games do tend to be. Um, notably janky in a lot of ways, as you kind of saw earlier <laughs> um, with with the day stage. Well, some of that was my fault, admittedly, but there was some weird stuff going on that's, as well. Um, yeah, that that is just kind of the the uh, unfortunate facts of uh, of these games. Like you're gonna have to just <laughs> get used to the fact that the, these games can be a bit weird sometimes and. Uh, you 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 might run into some weird stuff in your playthroughs, and it just sometimes it just can't be helped. Um, but it is what it is. I, I I it doesn't really bother me that much, um, unless it's like something super game breaking or uh, like I don't know your your save file gets corrupted. <laughs> Colors ultimate. Hopefully that. <laughs> I, I say that now, I 
th there have been tons of updates for uh, Ultimate since, but I have no idea if, that, if the save corruption or the crashing has been fixed. But, yeah. Maybe Colors would be a, a good starting point as well, but I feel like a boost game might be a bit much as well. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. I it, it's Again, it's really hard to say what, what would constitute as a good first 3D Sonic game. 3D specifically. Uh, 2D can be argued. Um, I guess maybe Sonic 2 or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, Not even just 3D Sonic, just in general. It's hard to say what would be ideal for your first game. And I, it also depends on how well versed like, the person asking is, like, is in, like, video games in general as well. Like, especially, if this is, like, if they're asking about Sonic and, like, they haven't played a platformer before, um, then that's even more difficult, because Sonic is, um, kind of an outlier in the sense that, like, no other game really plays, like, the Sonic games. Um... So I, I wouldn't really recommend these games as, like, someone's first, like, foray into the platforming genre. Um, honestly, I'd say play, like, Mario or, like, Crash or Spyro, Banjo, stuff like that first. Um, I feel like Sonic should be something that you play when you're more attuned to how platformers work. Um, maybe, maybe not. It's, it's kind of a difficult subject really it is this is a confusing topic like it, it's hard to really find a concrete answer for a lot of this stuff but again it's something it's something I thought about a lot I did I did initially think maybe forces <laughs> for as much as I dislike that game might be the best starting point because of how easy it is and how like <laughs> nice brain dead it can be a lot of the time but I feel like that wouldn't really give you a good first impression. Um, like, you you would just think that Sonic games would just hold forward, you win, there's no resistance from the from the game, and it just ends. Like, I, I feel like that would be a terrible first impression to, to have. So, I feel, I feel like Unleashed Wii might be... Like, unless someone can come up with, like, counter-arguments of why, like, SA1 or 2 or Heroes or... Shadow or 06, whatever. Uh, I, I'd love to see a reason for someone saying that like 06 would be a good first in, first impression. <laughs> um, but yeah, if someone if someone can come up with like a counter argument of like say why another game is like a good starting point compared to this game, I'd like to hear it because yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's it's just an interesting topic and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something I completely glossed over is in that last stage that is outside of like the last like 20 seconds or something. That was pretty much all in 2D and it's the only Werehog stage to my knowledge like that's like that in both versions. Um, and it's definitely one of the highlights of this of this game, of the Wii version specifically. And uh, I don't know, just fun stuff going on like that. I like cool stages like that that just have a cool thing going on. It's not this I guess in a way it's a gimmick but not really because you st you're still playing the game normally it's just a 2D perspective. Um, but yeah. I like stuff like that. Yeah, one thing I don't really like in this version is the fact that um, when you get electrified, you have to like constant, like you have to like spin the control stick around and whatnot. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I'll be honest. Cool. I always, mi I, I remember always missing that. <laughs> I thought, I think up here we have a, a little gate. Yep. Yeah, I, this is, 
I wouldn't call, like... Also, I'm pretty sure this sound effect right here is right from, like, ripped right from Final Egg. From, from SA1. <laughs> I might be wrong about that, but it sounds like it. Good day. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't put this, like, in the same, like, ballpark as the HD version of Mountain Land, but... These are, these are still, like, very solidly crafted levels. Um, again, I feel like the... Mm, I don't know. Well, going back to the, the day stage, I feel like the, they should have toned down the time trial a bit, and maybe you only need to have four night stages instead of five. Um, maybe five is a bit overkill. Uh, I, I, in some ways, I think it is warranted because you've gone to you've gone through the first half of the game and it's all been three stages, and then you go to the second half and it's four stages, and you go to the final the final state the final world and it's a uh, you know five stages and you know it makes sense like it's a gradual build up and whatnot. But I again I can understand if that's a bit much for some people. Like <laughs> five night stages might be a bit. A bit too much to sink in for some, and I get that. Okay, you want to be careful here, because as you see there, oh, you can fall and die. You have to go in the... Oh, dude. This is really awkward. <laughs> okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Uh, sl swing on this... No, that doesn't work. I just wanna... Okay, there we go. I don't think there's anything down there. Yeah, a sneaky secret there. You have to... Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to shimmy on in through, the, through that side because there's no gap on the left. But, yeah. And I'm um, missing one. Okay, there it is. Okay, cool. I was hoping I didn't miss it somewhere obvious. And I'm pretty sure that just sends you back to the that flying dude. Just didn't send you to the start of the area. And another elevator sequence. Oh god. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize you could actually fall off there. Okay. Right. So I believe this is the elevator sequence I talked about earlier. Um, as soon as enemies start pouring in. I remember this being a bit of a gauntlet, so you're gonna have to be preferred. And as I <gasps> ac accidentally just demonstrated, you can fall off, so you also have to worry about that. Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah, again, one thing I don't like about the controls here is that is is the fact that like when the Werehog is in like a dash or like not even just a dash, but like when he's running like this, he'll do the double claw swipe. And um that can send you like just careening off the edge when you're not trying to, and uh it's not great. <laughs> I don't even remember what stage we're on. Like, I don't know if there's a stage four or five. Alright. Oh, easy, easy. Okay. Okay. We're. Okay, he's- no, 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 don't- don't kill yourself, please. Alright. Okay, there is one more stage, because- I like how you can see- Cool, okay. Doing, doing good with these S-Ranks. 
Like, I like how you can see, like, the next part of the, of the level. Um, I guess hardware limitations, so they, like, they can't make it one big, one big level. So they just, like, cut it up into sections, and, <laughs> and you can still see, like, the next part of the stage at the end of the, uh, of the one you're, like, playing. It would be kind of cool to see, like, say, like, if, uh, Unleashed ever came to like PC or whatever. It would be cool if someone were to try and mod in the Wii version stages and just make them into one big level. Uh, I'd like to see how that would work. That seems like an interesting experiment. I feel like it... Like, it, it probably would be like ridiculously long. Like the stage would be cra like crazy in length obviously, but... I... I feel like that would be worth trying that at least, just to see how 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 that would uh, work. But hey, at least um, at least there's a you can get the game on like oh, come on, what was that? At least you can get the game on like Series X, Xbox Series X now, the Xbox Sex, lol. Um, dude, what is this hitbox? Like where, where you go? Uh, okay. All right. All right just kill these guys. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know you're supposed to take out, take out, uh, Put out the fire first and then get to these guys, but I have my own ways to handle the situation. Okay, I think there's a secret sneaky item up here somewhere. It's very easy to miss. Here we go, yeah. Okay. What was I talking about? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can you on the ser back to the Series X like there is um like the they they did give give Unleashed gen and Generations and as well as a bunch of other 360 games an FPS boost. And considering the Series X can like before then already could run Unleashed at a a much more stable frame rate than. Like, a 360 could. Like, this. Yeah, there's, uh, at least something. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Microsoft doing the heavy lifting instead of Sega themselves, but it's, uh, maybe it's better that way. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have the, like, <sighs> can you really blame me being a bit... Skeptical after like after colors like colors ultimate Like they, they have fixed a lot of things about that game now for sure, but Still like I can't help but like if they did a uh, unleashed ultimate That was almost a mistake <laughs> I, I can't help that the We'd run into a lot of issues. So I, I don't know mate. Maybe not. Maybe I'm over Like, maybe I'm overthinking things. Maybe we'll go down fine. But, you know, there's... There's always gonna... There, there's just that side of me that's just unsure. So, for now, I'm, I'm fine with Microsoft doing the heavy, the heavy lifting, because I... You know, at this point, I'd prefer just the... The normal, the normal version. Like, the... The... Original versions just get getting um, some enhancements by like Microsoft themselves, and uh, yeah. I think we should be coming up to the end bit here. I am starting to run out of things to say about this, so <laughs> I do hope we are almost there. Good. Yeah, this playthrough is going on for like 
couple years now, I think. I, I'm surprised I've had as much to say as I as I have. I really don't even need to. Well, I guess I guess the S rank does uh, account for Gaia points, so it's still worth going for, going for those, even though I'm max I'm like max level at this point. Um, but you know. Oh god. Uh. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with whatever the hell's down there. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe I am. I'm gonna have to. Okay, we. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I, I, I think the next time I play this, the HD version specifically will probably be on the Xbox Series X, um, provided I get one in the w within like the year or some or so. Uh, the, we shall see on that front. I'm in no real rush to buy a next gen console. There's like besides <laughs> like besides Unleashed. <laughs> And uh, Generations, there's really... Well, Generations less so because that has a PC port. But yeah, besides Unleashed, there really isn't much reason for me to get a next-gen console. Um, there's, a, there's a few games, obviously, but there isn't really enough right now for me to... Like, buy another system. So, I... I am still kind of waiting on that. And, uh, yeah. No, I keep forgetting what the button is to do Unleashed. Okay, these guys, the Electric Wizards or whatever are the most annoying enemy to me because, again, every time you get electrocuted you have to spin the control stick around and that just gets really tiring, like, really quickly. And that's the end of that. So that's the Wii version of Eggman Land done. And now we're going to be switching over to the HD version, which is just one massive stage. It switches between uh, regular and uh, Werehog Sonic. And um, it's quite the controversial level. So yeah, that, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be a really interesting one. So. Yep, see you guys in a minute and we'll and we'll be playing through the HD version of Eggman Land. <laughs> 